Are you thinking about moving to the Seattle, Washington area? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the county north of Seattle, Snohomish County, to give you an idea of what it might be like to live there. On my previous video here on my channel, I went over King County, which is where Seattle is located. So in this video, I wanna dive into the county to the north side of Seattle. This is Snohomish County. A lot of people are moving up this way. It's growing like crazy right now. So I wanna give you a feel for what it might be like to live here. So if you're planning to move over here to the Seattle metro area, you can kind of explore Snohomish County a little bit, see if any of these cities would be a good match for you. So in order to do that, I'm gonna jump into the map and show you around. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe here so you don't miss any of my future videos. People just like yourself reach out to me here from YouTube all the time when they're moving over to the Seattle metropolitan area. I'm an active real estate agent here. So if you're coming over here, you're looking to buy a home, trying to find that right city for you to move to and find that right house to purchase, I'd be more than happy to help you out. So feel free to reach out to me here at my info on the screen. But like I said, in today's video, I wanna talk about Snohomish County specifically. So. My last video, I talked about King County. You can find that here on my channel. That's where Seattle is located. Snohomish County is just to the north of Seattle. So I wanna go over here, what it might be like to give you, run you through these different cities here briefly on the map, give you an idea of what they look like and what they might feel like if you were to live here. So in order to do that, I wanna jump into the map on my screen here. So jumping over here, <clears throat> you can see we've got the map right here. Seattle right in the middle right here. So I went over this um, on my previous video. Like I said, this is King County all through here, Seattle, Bellevue, whatnot. So we're gonna go to the north. For this video, we're going to go to Snohomish County. So let's zoom in a little bit. As we zoom here. So Snohomish County is really gonna be Mount Lake Terrace right here. We see on the south side by Shoreline and it's gonna go up to the Arlington area. So Arlington is right here and it's gonna go up right through here through to Stanwood as well. So this is gonna be the Snohomish County area we're gonna go over. Um, so again, you've got Puget Sound on the west side of you. So a lot of great opportunities for some view homes on the west side of, of Snohomish County here, uh, close to the beach, things like that. And then when you go to the east, you got some opportunities for homes that are more mountainous, uh, wooded lots, acreage, things like that. So you've got a wide variety here in uh, Snohomish County. So let's start on the south side here and let's just work our way up north, give you an idea of what it's like over here. So like I said, on the south side, we've got Mount Lake Terrace right here, Briar. This is where I grew up right here, Mount Lake Terrace, Briar, right in here. Um, so from the area, it's a great area. And then you got Edmonds over here. So these areas right here, Mount Lake Terrace, Briar, Linwood, um, very popular areas for a lot of people are moving to, you know, your, your easy access to both I-5 right here. So if you want to buzz down to Seattle, if you're working in Seattle, there's a lot of people that live in this area that work in Seattle. Same thing with people that work on the east side. If they work in Bellevue or Redmond or Kirkland, you can still get to 405 right here pretty quickly from these areas, Mount Lake Terrace, Linwood, like I said. Um, so there's a lot of people that still live there and, and commute to the east side for work. So it's kind of a good center point on both freeways. You can access both of them pretty quickly. You've got everything you need here in the Linwood, kind of Mount Lake Terrace areas. Mostly in Linwood is where you're gonna find all of your shopping. They've got, you know, Alderwood Mall right here. Um, they've got, you know, your Whole Foods and your Costco and all your grocery stores. Everything you need is in Linwood, all your doctor's offices. Um, so it's really convenient for that. Linwood, Mount Lake Terrace areas, your, your median home prices, they're gonna be under a million still. Again, this is April, 2022 when I'm recording this. So. 800, 900,000, that ballpark is where your median home prices are gonna be right now. Um, and then as you get over to the west side here in Edmonds, this area is a little bit more expensive, rightfully so, it's on the Puget Sound. So Edmonds, your median prices just cross over a million. So you're gonna be right over a million as of right now. What's great about Edmonds right here, it's a very desirable place to live right now, like I said, because it is so close to the Puget Sound. So you've got the ferry terminal right here. So if you wanna take the ferry over um, for a day trip over to Kingston or Polsbo or something like that, you can do that. There's some restaurants right here on the waterfront. There's some parks, Marina Beach Park, and then Brackett's Landing uh, is over here by the terminal. 
Uh, this is actually where I proposed to my wife right here on Edmonds Beach. Um, I grew up, like I said, very close, so I've grown up going here uh, my whole life. Um, and then there's an off-leash dog park, park over here by Edwards Point. Um, so if you want to take the dogs, let them run around in the sand, jump in the water, go swimming, they can do that. So this is a really cool area down here in downtown Edmonds. Uh, it's kind of a historic area, so there's like some antique shops, older buildings. There's a lot of restaurants down here, so it's super walkable on a day. You know, you, you go down there for a nice sunny day, grab some ice cream, grab some food, hang out on the beach, take the ferry over. It's a really, really cool spot to spend a nice day. And because of that, a lot of people like living over here. You've got some condo living through here in the downtown area, and then you've got a lot of residential living through here as well. Over here is called the Edmonds Bowl. So the Edmonds Bowl is where you're gonna find a lot of neighborhoods with view homes. So if that's something you want, you wanna have a nice view of the Puget Sound from your home, uh, from your home, you can shop around here in the Edmonds Bowl area. It's gonna be one of the most expensive areas in Edmonds because of that, <clears throat> because of the views. Um, but there are some beautiful homes here. And again, a lot of older homes in Edmonds. It is an older city. Um, so you're gonna have a lot of 40s, 50s, and 60s homes. There are some new construction homes where you know, people have gone in and torn down the existing home and built a new home. Outside of that, you're not having a bunch of new construction developments in this area of Edmonds. It's really older homes or kind of one-off new construction homes through here. You've got the high school right here as you get closer to I-5 and whatnot. And then again, in Edmonds, just like Linwood, you've got a lot of shopping and grocery stores and all that stuff that you're going to need here in Edmonds. So super, super desirable area to be here in Edmonds, especially for people that are working in Seattle. I mean, you're, you're a little ways off I-5 if you're all the way over here by the Edmonds Bowl, but you can buzz over here on the 104, get to I-5 and head down south if you're working right in Seattle. So let's go up a little bit further. So we talked about Bothell over here. We've got Bothell right here. We talked about it in the King County video. Bothell is split in half between Snohomish County and King County. So the north side of Bothell over here, Canyon Park and whatnot, this is Snohomish County. This is also a very, very desirable area right now because of the easy access to the east side. So we talked again about this in the last video, but just to summarize for you, if you haven't seen that King County video, people are moving here to Bothell very, very often when they're working here in Redmond at Microsoft or they're working in Kirkland at Google um, or uh, Bellevue at many of the tech companies, Amazon, whatever is down there. There's a lot of people that are moving here in Bothell because they get more for their money than on the uh, on the east side in Kirkland, Redmond, and Bellevue. So it has grown a lot. Now there has been, unlike Edmonds, I just talked about Edmonds is a much older city. Bothell, there's been a ton of new construction over the last five to 10 years. You're still gonna have plenty of 70s, 80s, and 90s homes but there has been a lot of new construction recently to try and meet the demand here in Bothell. Um, so you'll find a lot of newer homes as well as some older homes throughout here. Um, and like I said, it goes up to Canyon Park here. So you've got all your conveniences in Bothell as well. And you're super close to Linwood, like I talked about over here with the Alderwood Mall and all the shopping over there. So super convenient access to everything and you're right along 405. So it's easy to get to and from the freeway if you're commuting to work every single day. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's keep going north. So as we get over here, this is Payne Field area. So this is Everett, kind of the Everett Muckleteo area. So Payne Field right now is uh, is where Boeing is. So if you're working at Boeing, you're going to be working in this area. Payne Field is now a commercial airport. They've opened up for commercial flights just within the last few years. They don't you know, fly out as to as many locations as SeaTac Airport does down south here, but for some closer options, if you're going to California, I believe they fly to Vegas. Um, there's some other locations that they go to. There's a decent amount still, so that you can take advantage of not having to drive all the way down to SeaTac Airport for some of those locations. Just go, if that's something that's a consideration for you, if you think about moving up here and you, you fly a lot, uh, just go to their website, Painfield Airport. Just Google it. You'll go to their website. You can see where they fly in and out of and see if that would be something that would work for you if that's something that you need. But that is right there, just so you know. Just outside of there, you've got Muckleteo right here, another really desirable area uh, for people to be moving to. It's got one of the most, when you look at the school rating uh, websites and whatnot, it's got one of the best rated school districts in the Snohomish County area. Um, so it's it's a desirable area for that reason, also for the reason of it being on the Puget Sound, again, similar to Edmonds. 
Um, doesn't have quite the old historic downtown area like Edmonds does, but it's got a cool little spot down here at the Muckleteo Beach. Um, you've got some places to go eat, uh, Ivers and, and Diamond Knot. We've been to both of those quite often. Um, and then you've got the Lighthouse Park here. There's some vo beach volleyball nets. There's places to have picnic shelters, uh, barbecue, things like that. So it gets pretty busy in the summer. There's a lot of people that go there and hang out and take in the, you know, the sunshine on the water. You can take the ferry as well. Ferry terminal is right here. So similar to Edmonds in that fact, and it gets pretty busy. Um, but again, when you're looking at homes in these neighborhoods, there's more view homes here. Um, so if that's something that you're considering, this is another area where you could find some view homes. Again, some older homes, um, but definitely some beautiful properties with some amazing views in this area. And like I said, Boeing is right here. So if you're taking a job in Boeing, you are going to have a nice, easy commute. If you're living here in Muckleteo, um, you're not going to have to deal with very much traffic. Um, so that'll make your life nice and easy. So as we keep going up north here, this is where we go into Everett right here. So Everett is the largest downtown area north of Seattle. So you're going to have what goes along with downtown areas, you're going to have some of those downtown issues. Now, it's not to the extent of Seattle. You've probably heard Seattle about, you know, the tent cities and, and trash line streets, graffiti on the side of the freeway as you drive through downtown Seattle, all that kind of stuff. You're not going to have as much of that in Everett, but you will have some of it. You will see some of that. So just be aware, you know, there's plenty of people that love living in Everett. Um, but, uh, but that's kind of the feel that you can get sometimes in this downtown historic area. However, on the north side of Everett here, there are some absolutely gorgeous neighborhoods with old craftsmen and colonial style homes, some gorgeous, gorgeous architecture. You're again here on the water, so there's homes with views all throughout here. Um, so that gives you more opportunity for view homes. Here's the naval base. If you're moving over here, you happen to be in the Navy. That's where you're going to be right here in naval base. There's some great restaurants right here. Uh, there's Anthony's and Lombardi's is our favorite Italian place to go to uh, right on the water there. So uh, Everett Scott really all that you need in terms of shopping and, and convenience. Uh, they've got the hospital right here, Providence Hospital. This is going to be your closest hospital for most of these cities on the north side here. Um, and then as you go in through here, these are still a lot of old uh, residential neighborhoods. You'll find a lot of condos through here as well and townhomes. This is a wide variety of, uh, of types of, of properties here in the Everett area. So zoom in back out here. I want to, before I head further north, I want to head over to the east side a little bit here. So let's look at Monroe first right here. This is still Snohomish County. So Monroe, as it bleeds into Sultan over here. So this is Highway 2. Highway 2 is what takes you to Stevens Pass. So if you like to go skiing and snowboarding and hiking and mountain biking and all that kind of stuff, this is going to be a way for you to access all of that is through Monroe through Highway 2 here. So Monroe has grown a lot lately. There's a lot of people living out here. It's a little bit further set back. You know, you're not nearly as close to I-5. So you're going to have a little bit of a trip getting into I-5 there. These roads can get pretty backed up because of how many people have moved here recently. You know, in the Monroe area, your median prices are hovering in the mid-600s, mid-600,000s for residential homes. There's a lot of nice neighborhoods in here, you know, with your typical 1990 build, three to four bedroom, 1600 to 2400 square foot homes there's a lot of that through here in monroe and as you go further out in Mer monroe there's a lot of rural property so if you want something with an acre five acres ten acres you can find that in monroe this is one of the top spots to find acreage property um, all throughout here in the woods creek area there's a lot of, of uh, rural property through here so if that's something you're looking for definitely check out the monroe area dive a little bit deeper into it then as you go further north, you get into Snohomish, which is relatively similar when it comes to the amount of rural acreage property that's available. Um, so a lot of people move to Snohomish. You know, even if they work on the east side in like a, a Microsoft, you know, they work in Redmond or Kirkland or Bellevue or something like that. A lot of people are still coming all the way up here to Snohomish when they want acreage property because they can get more for their money versus uh, on the east side there. Um, and it's it's a really nice area to live. They've got a historic downtown area here. I've done a video on my channel on um, diving specifically deep into Snohomish. So if that's something that interests you, go on my channel, check that out, find that video for Snohomish. But they've got a historic downtown area here. So a lot of different you know shops and boutiques and restaurants, places to get a drink, things like that. You're right on the Snohomish River. They've got a little private airfield down here. So it's a really cool spot, especially you know on a on a sunny day or in the evening. When you're walking around and want to get dinner and some drinks and whatnot, 
So Snohomish is a really cool area. Out here, you've got three lakes. So again, you've got some campgrounds. There's people that, there's plenty of residential homes out here as well. It's not just campgrounds. There's a lot of people that live out here when they want some more rural property. Like I said, acreage that's all throughout here in the Snohomish area. As we continue to go north here, this is Lake Stevens right here. So Lake Stevens is growing a lot. Again, it's got a pretty well-rated school district. Median home prices are right now in the mid 600s, um, quickly escalating. It's getting pretty, pretty popular through here. What's nice about Lake Stevens though is you're right on the lake. So you can take your boat out, your jet skis, go water skiing, wakeboarding, tubing, all that kind of stuff. There's some cool parks here on Lake Stevens. You've got Lundin Park, you've got Davies Beach, and then you've got North Cove Park on the north side of Lake Stevens here. So if you want to, you know, the kids can go swimming, play on the playground, grassy fields to throw frisbee, football, all that kind of stuff. Um, so Lake Stevens is a really nice area. There's a decent amount of new construction that's been going on in here too to meet the demand. A lot of new construction actually. Um, and then you can find not quite as much as say Snohomish and Monroe, but you can definitely find acreage here in Lake Stevens as well. As you start to get further out, you get outside on Machias Road here and okay Mill Road, you can definitely find acreage property. As you get uh, further up here, this is the Lockshloy area, you can find new construction on acre. Uh, so there's a couple different communities up here that offer brand new homes, uh, anywhere from 2,500 to uh, 4,500 square foot homes on acre plots, really nice neighborhoods. So you can find that through here as well. Those are priced right around a million, million two, just depending on what you're getting. But you can find that through here in uh, Lake Stevens. Forgot to mention Everett in terms of home, home prices as we go back over here to Everett. If you're in the historic downtown area, in the north side of Everett, you can find some homes in the mid 500s, some smaller, older craftsman style homes. Um, so it's gonna be one of your cheaper areas on the north side here. And then as you go south in Everett down here, <clears throat> south of Pinehurst all the way down here into Eastmont, um, it, it'll start to get more expensive. You'll start to get closer to 700 for those median prices. So as we keep going up north here, we're almost to the top of Snohomish County. You've got Marysville right here. So Marysville is another area, of course, that's growing a lot with more and more people moving up north here. Um, they've got uh, the Quilcita Casino up here. So there's a couple casinos in, in Marysville. That's why some people come up here just, you know, for a day trip just to hit the casino. There's a couple of them up here. You know, you've got a lot of your fast food, some of your shopping here in Marysville. It's not quite at the point where Lake Stevens and Snohomish are in terms of uh, pricing and, and homeowner desirability, although there's a lot of people moving into Marysville right now. Median prices are in the 600s now, um, so that's what you're going to expect in this area, the mid-600s for median home prices, almost to 700 probably at this point. Um, as you continue to go up here, this is kind of where you've got your casino and your outlet mall. So. A lot of people travel up here all the way from, you know, down in Seattle or the east side to go to the outlet malls. One of the best outlet malls in the area is up here in Marysville. You've got the Tulalip Casino and Resort right here that a lot of people visit. Um, so that's kind of one of the largest things here in the Marysville area. Then all throughout here, you've got a ton of residential living. You're going to have a lot of 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010, and new construction homes all the way through those decades. A lot of homes in these areas. There's been a lot of new construction specifically on the east side of Marysville here as you get closer to Highway 9. A lot of newer homes that have gone in here the last few years, five years, ten years. So there's a, just a lot of that, a lot of housing that they're trying to support all the demand for people coming up in this area. And then zoom out a little bit more. We'll go to the last spot here. So we're going to go to Arlington right here. So we talked about Arlington. So this is another area where you can find a lot of rural property. Um, similar to Snohomish, Monroe. You can go all the way out here, uh, Tafton and Arlington Heights, Pilchuck and Bryant. You can find a lot of acreage property out here. So if you want an acre, two acres, five acres, 20 acres, you can find all of it out here. Um, Smoky Point is gonna be your main commercial area for all of your shopping. It's got everything, you, your Costco, your Target, all your grocery stores, your doctor's offices, all that kind of stuff is here in the Smoky Point area. So even if you're in Arlington, you still have access to that. You don't have to go too far. Again, that depends. You can go way out in Arlington. You can go way out to Oso, out here into Tafton. So you'll have, you will have a bit of a drive if you're going into Smoky Point for everything, but you can stay closer to the center of Arlington here. Um, let me zoom in, get ahead of myself. But all the way, you know, over here close to Highway 9, even some spots up here close to the airport where you can find an acre, two acres of property. 
um, if that's what you want. This is not a commercial airport, Arlington Airport. This is for you know smaller private planes, so you're not going to have the large jet noise that you would at larger airports here. Um, and then zooming back out, as you start to go, there's another casino up here that's pretty popular. Then as you start to go to the west side, Stanwood, um, this brings you into Camino Island, which is a different county that's Island County. But there's some nice beaches through here in the Stanwood area, like Warm Beach and, and Kayak Point down here. You've got Lake Goodwin right here, which is another recreational lake that a lot of people like to go to. If you want to go swimming, hang out on the lake, all that kind of stuff. There's plenty, plenty of lakes here in Snohomish County for you to visit and, uh, and spend a nice day on. And so as you continue to go up through here, like I said, Pilchuck and Bryant, there's a lot of rural property out here. So if you want to feel like you're living in the woods, you want some acreage, you can do that. As you start to get further out, there are spots where you will lose cell service. So that's something you got to consider. Um, but uh, maybe that's something you want. You want to live out in the middle of nowhere and be off the grid. You can do that here in Arlington for sure. There's options like that. You can get a cabin out there all that kind of stuff and then you can feel like you're still you can still be in Arlington right here and feel like you're living in a subdivision living suburban lifestyle close to Smoky Point with all the shopping um, and, and be really close into everything there's townhomes here in Arlington as well uh, for some cheaper options so that is the main Arlington and then Stanwood area and then as as you get up here you're getting into a different county so as we zoom back out here this was the Snohomish County area. We started in Mount Lake Terrace here, headed all the way up north to Arlington up here, and then checked out Monroe, Sultan as well over here next to Monroe I mentioned, but as you're going out to Stevens Pass, um, some people will live out there with convenient access. If you're working remote, you don't have to commute very much. You've got some options like that over there. All right, well, this wraps up my video on Snohomish County, what it might be like to live here. So hopefully this was helpful for you. You know, as you are on the south side of Snohomish County, closer to Seattle, of course, you're going to have the higher home prices. Like I said, they're going to be anywhere, median prices anywhere from 800 to a million for most of those cities on the south side of Snohomish County. Some are a little bit over a million. As you start to get further north, those home prices, those median home prices are going to get closer to 700. And then as you get even further north, those median prices are going to get closer to the mid 600s on the north side of Snohomish County. So that's kind of your range for those home prices um, in these areas. There's a lot of people moving here, moving outside of the Seattle area, going a little bit further north, getting more for their money. Maybe they're working part time remote so they don't have to go into the office as much. Commute isn't as big of a consideration. So there's a good amount of people moving into this area pretty desirable areas all throughout Snohomish County and lots to do. Like I said, I showed you around the lakes, the Puget Sound. There's still plenty to do here in Snohomish County if you're living here. You don't need to travel into Seattle for anything unless you're working in Seattle. You know, I, I live in Snohomish County. Obviously, I'm in real estate, so I go to Seattle for work, but that's the only time I really go to Seattle anymore. Every once in a while, we'll do a little thing down there uh, with the family, but otherwise, everything you need is in Snohomish County, spread throughout. There's plenty of things to do here, and it's a really great area to live. So if you've got questions, like I said, I'm an active real estate agent over here, so if you're moving over here, looking for some help when you're purchasing a home and finding the right city for you, feel free to reach out to me. be more than happy to help you out, but I appreciate you watching this video.